In this lesson, we are going to introduce the number e. Um, e is like pi. It is an irrational number that goes on forever, um, and it comes from uh, us taking a compound interest, which we'll talk more later, um, of the n here of how often you're compounding something and making that n go to infinity, and also taking your exponent and making it go to infinity. So this value becomes this. And so we really kind of think of it as like pi is 3.14, e is 2.71, um, on and on and on and on, uh, 2.72 I suppose if you round it. Um, so using your calculator is, um, we're just going to plug things in. So right now it's just is making sure that you know that there's an E button on your calculator. There's two E buttons actually on your calculator. One is right above the division sign. Um, the difference between that one and the one above this LN is most of the time E is going to have an exponent on it. So I almost never use that one because I'm always hitting an exponent. So if I, if I just do this one over here, um, it doesn't have an exponent associated with it. Uh, as opposed to if I do this one, it's already kind of ready to put the exponent in. And so I just get a value out of it. So that is, and we're gonna go to four decimal places. So that is 20.0855. And then here, you're just gonna go second E to the negative 0.23, and that's gonna get us a 0 0.7945. And here, e to the zero. Now, e to the zero is going to work exactly like anything to the zero. Anything to the zero is one. All right, so that is just a really quick, brief introduction. So now we're going to also graph e. So if we're going to graph e, um, it has the same kind of a feel as our normal a to the b minus all right, so if we're going to graph this, we can rewrite this. First off, E is greater than 1, so we have a growth, except we have this negative. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over and make it a positive, which now makes it dk. All right, so we do not have any kind of a uh, horizontal shift or anything like that, so our A value is 1, which is our 1 right in front of this. Uh, all exponentials have that. And then um, uh, we don't have any left or right shift. We don't have any up and down shift. We don't have any reflections anymore. We just have a decay. So our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. We have a 0, 1, and we just have a decay. Looking problem. All right. Here, everything is basically the same. Uh, this time we have a growth because it's not 1 over e, so this is going to be less than 1, this is going to be greater than 1, and we are just going to shift to the left 3. So our a value is 1 because there's a 1 shoved in front of that, so we're at 0, 1, and we're going to go left 3, 1, 2, 3. We don't have any kind of horizontal effect on our graph, and we have a growth equation. All right, and then oop, back here, domain. Domains are always negative infinity to infinity. This graph goes left and right. This graph goes left and right forever. Um, our range is from zero up, so zero to infinity, and our horizontal asymptote didn't change at all. Our range here is also from zero to infinity, and our horizontal asymptote is still at zero. Now this one we want to rewrite. So we have a negative. We'll put a one, not so there's a one right there. So one e to the negative point five x and then plus one. So uh, I want to rewrite this one last time because of the negative exponent. We're going to be making that one over e to a positive exponent and then adding 1. So our a value is negative 1. We have decay. 
our A value is negative one. Um, this has a horizontal kind of a compression stretch to it. Uh, we won't really see that in our graph because we're just sketching it real quick. And this is an up one, which is our horizontal asymptote. All right, and then we have um, decay. We're starting at um, negative one. We also have a vertical reflection going on. So we're starting at negative one, and it goes up one to here, but then we have a vertical reflection going on to it. So it should be uh, a decay that's doing this, um, but we're gonna vertically reflect it. So we would have had kind of that look to it. So instead, we have that look to it. Now again, that doesn't feel very decay. That feels kind of more like a growth. But the idea of a decay is that it has very, very sharp change, and then it starts to level off at a value. So this is a very, very sharp change, and then it starts to level off after a certain period of time. As, suspect, as opposed to growth, it has very, very slow change, and then overall, at the end, it starts to skyrocket pretty fast. All right, so that's a brief introduction to E and a little bit of graphing. Um, e is a little bit more complicated to graph. It's very much a sketch because I can't do a whole lot of accuracy to it other than just making sure that I'm doing my reflections and shifts and all that sort of stuff accurately. Uh, ooh, and domain, negative infinity to infinity. And our range is going from negative infinity to one. And that's it.